What's up everyone, my name is Alex Costa and I'm always talking about how much I love boots and how I think every guy should have at least one pair in their closet. So today, I wanted to go over the best boots for men of the year to give you guys exact examples and models with the link of each of them in the description below so you can go and check them out and hopefully get your own pair to look amazing of course stay warm this year and just a reminder that i just started a free newsletter that i'm really proud of where i send you guys emails with you know bonus fashion tips personal stories about me and uh, some confidence building tips that you guys seem to really like as well. The link is in the description right below the video, so it would mean the world to me if you guys could go check it out and let me know what you think. All right, let's start with some military boots, shall we? They are definitely having a moment right now and they're trending, you know, and let me tell you why. These commando or combat or military boots are usually pretty comfortable once you break them in. Other footwear can be flimsy, they can hurt your feet, but definitely not the military boots. These babies are made to last. They're made to keep your feet safe from whatever comes your way. And you know, they have a thick sole, they're definitely rugged, and they give you that military look and feel. My favorite are the Doc Martens. I've had these for a while now and I love them. They're also not that expensive, so you can have a couple of them if you want different colors and styles. They're really chunky, so just keep that in mind. If you're short, for example, and you have maybe like huge feet, and maybe these aren't for you because they're gonna take over your whole outfit. The murdered out matte black is awesome and easy to style, but the brown is also beautiful and stands out depending on what you're wearing. I'll leave the link for them below. I also really like these from Thursday Boots. They're more sleek than the docks, but they give you all the benefits of a military boot. The difference is you can actually dress them up a little bit more, so they're more versatile in my opinion. I'll list all of these boots in the description below, so make sure to go check them out. Next up, of course, you guessed it, Chelsea boots. I really think Chelsea boots are amazing, and as you guys know, it's my favorite of all time, and that's because it's easy to pull off, both in terms of like physically pulling them out and putting them on, and also in terms of matching them to a bunch of different outfits that you currently own. They're sleek, but they still keep your feet warm and safe. They can work with jeans for a cool, you know, street style look or to go out at night and dress them out with an outfit. I've even seen a lot of celebrities rocking these to the red carpet with a suit and it works really, really well. If you're not 100% sold yet on the idea of wearing boots on a regular basis, then the Chelsea boots are for you. I can guarantee you that it's gonna elevate your fashion game and that you will get compliments from both guys and from girls. My favorites are these from Common Projects, which are pricey, but they have an amazing shape to the boots. The toe box here is perfect, and that's what makes them so popular. They make them in all different ways, different colors, and different material. I also really like mine from Moncari Flores. This one right here, it's a classic brown Chelsea. Uh, I wore these in Switzerland this week. I was just there last night, actually, which is crazy. And the lookbook with these is coming out soon. I love the guys who make these, my friends Marcel and Modi, who took the time to perfect these boots. Definitely go check them out. I'll leave the link to these in the description right below the video. Now, similar to the Chelsea boots, all right, the ankle boots are also really amazing. They're kind of like a step up from the Chelsea boots on a fashion scale, in my opinion. They're more of like a fashion statement, while the Chelsea's are a little bit less noticeable, but still really fashionable and really cool. They usually have a harness on the sides to add some flair to the boots, and also the heels tend to be a little bit higher. So if you're on the shorter side, if you're shorter than the average guy, this could actually be a huge benefit. You know, you get an extra inch or so in height. The Saint Laurent boots are obviously amazing, you know, really well built, but they're pricey. So keep that in mind. These though from Ankara Flores are awesome. I wore them to a lookbook a few weeks ago and you guys really like, and they're definitely more affordable. So what do you guys think? Would you guys rock the ankle boots at the moment or is it a little too fashion forward for you? Let me know in the comments down below if you just stick with the Chelsea boots or if you give the ankle boots a try. Another type of boot that you need, especially if you live somewhere where it gets really cold in the winter or if you like to travel to the cold places in the winter time, the heavy duty winter boots. These are usually gonna come up higher than most just to make sure that you're protected, you know, as much as possible from the freaking cold. They're also really rugged, kind of like the military boots, so you can go hiking in them or you can walk through snow if needed. The soles tend to be slip resistant to make sure that you don't slip on ice. 
So it's a more functional piece than anything, but also that doesn't mean that it shouldn't look good, right? Functional pieces can also be fashionable, and that's what we're trying to strive here. A middle ground between fashion and functionality, that's where the sweet spot is for boots. I absolutely love these from Timberland. I wore them on a video the other day, and you guys all asked me about them. I'm gonna blow your mind right now, okay? Check these out. These actually fold over. Let me see if I can do this here, there we go. And then you can fold them down to pretty much as low as you want here. So they look even, not, well, I'm not gonna say better, but they look different. You know, you do this and then you can just strap them right there. And there you go, something like that. So they're very fashion forward in terms of, for a winter boot anyway, but you can change them up. You can bring them all the way up here. You can bring them down. So they're very versatile and of course, very rugged. These are so warm, they're insulated. Great job, Timberland, love these. And then I also got these boots from Timberland. Uh, let me show you these. Came in a very nice little bag here. A little bit different. Check these out. These, uh, I got these for Christmas from Timberland. They sent it to me and I have to say, I love them, they're awesome. Am I gonna wear them a lot? No, I'm gonna wear them once a year on Christmas. And that's really it. But I thought they were really cool. Obviously, um, limited edition. And you don't have to get them with the Christmas patterns, all right? You can get them in the regular uh, colors. But I think Timberland has been making boots forever and I think they do a really good job. So great boot. I'm gonna list everything in the description below so you guys can go and check them out especially if you, want, uh, if you want to look good for the next Christmas time. These from Thorogod are also amazing and sold on Amazon, so you can get a pretty good deal for a quality piece. The reviews are great, you can go check them out, you know, and it's also a trustworthy brand, so it's an easy choice. Next up, guys, hiking boots are definitely having a moment right now, and to be honest, it's funny because it's not because people decided to live a healthy and active lifestyle and go to the outdoors and go hiking. They're just being thrown into crazy outfits at fashion shows. I know, it's it's crazy, but I figured I'd tell you about it anyway. It's probably not my favorite trend and I don't think you're gonna see me wearing this anytime soon, but what do you guys think? Would you wear them or no? I'm gonna leave all of these boots, including the hiking boots, if you wanna go check them out in the description below. Pick your favorites, go shopping, look good this winter, especially the Chelsea boots, man, which which I love. And I, I didn't really mention Chukka boots because I feel like Chukkas are kind of like fake boots. You know, they're more like sneakers than anything else. But uh, Chukka boots, I mean, I have a pair. I like them and you guys seem to really like them as well. So I'm gonna leave the Clark's Chukka boots listed in the description too, so you can go and check them out because they're my favorite Chukka boots. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to become part of the YouTube family. We keep growing every day, which is awesome. And of course, sign up to my newsletter. I've been putting a lot of effort into it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. I send emails every week. It's free. Talk about personal things, talk about you know different fashion tips, confidence building tips, and you guys seem to be really enjoying it. So thank you, I really appreciate that. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Peace.